Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM C tutorials. In this video series, we are going to create a hand wash dispenser assembly that you can see on the screen right now. You can also look at the cross sectional view of this assembly over here. And you may notice that it is a very detailed assembly and you can see each and every component of this assembly over here. Once we will complete the entire assembly, we will also go for the rendering of this assembly so that it will look like a real part. This is the first video in this tutorial series and in this video we are going to create two component that is the container and the washer. So let's begin it. So let us first close it and we'll go for file and we'll create a new part and ok. Now first we'll make background plan white. Now to create a container, we will mainly use the lofted boss feature to create the main body of the container and to create any feature with the use of lofted boss feature, we need more than one sketches. Now the first sketch will be created on the top plan and to create second sketch, we need a second plan. So first we will create one plan at a distance of 115 mm from the top plan. So we will go for the reference geometry, we will select here plan. Now we will select here the top plan as a reference plan and the distance between the plan and the top plan is 115 mm and click on ok. After creating this plan, we have to create two sketches to create the lofted boss feature and for that we will go for the sketch and we will select here the top plan as a sketching plan. Now here we have to create one ellipse, so we will select here ellipse and we will create one ellipse like this. Now after creating this, we will go for the dimensions. So we will select here the smart dimension. The major axis of ellipse is of 90 mm. So we will enter here 90. And the minor axis is of 35. So we will enter here 35. Now after applying the dimensions for the major axis and minor axis, we will exit the smart dimensions. Now we will select here this point. Press Ctrl, we will select here this point and then we will select here the origin. After specifying all these three points, we will select here the vertical as a constraint and click on OK. Now you can see that our sketch is fully defined. So we will exit the sketch. Now after creating the first sketch, we have to create a second sketch on this plan 1 and for that we will go for the sketch. Select here this plan 1, normal. Now here also we have to create ellipse and for that we will select here ellipse then we will create one ellipse like this after that we will go for the smart dimension so we will select here smart dimension the major axis for the ellipse is of 65 mm so we will enter here 65 the minor axis is of 35 so we will enter here 35 after applying the dimensions for the major axis and minor axis we will exit the smart dimension. Now we will select here this point. Press Ctrl and select here this point. Then we will select here the origin. For all these three points we will select here horizontal as a constraint. And click on OK. Now you can see that the sketch is fully defined. So we will exit the sketch. Now after creating two sketches, we have to create a feature using the lofted boss feature. And for that we will go for the features. We will select here the lofted boss feature. Now we will select here this point of the ellipse and we have to create or we have to select the corresponding point of this ellipse that is this point. Once you select these two points, you can see the preview of the lofted boss feature that is going to create and we select OK. Now after creating this feature, we have to remove some material from this feature. And before that, we will right click on this plan and we will make it here right. Now we will go for the sketch and we will select here the right plane as a sketching plane and we will go for the normal view. Now to remove some material, we will create one close sketch and for that we will go for the line. Now we will start from this point and we will create one line like this 
and after that we'll complete the sketch like this after creating this sketch we'll go for the smart dimension the angle between this horizontal line and this line that is of 20 degree after that this horizontal line is of 15 mm this vertical one is of 30 mm and then this horizontal one is of 60 mm now you can see that the entire sketch is fully defined so we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll exit the sketch after that we'll go for the features and we'll select here accelerate cut feature and from this drop down we'll select here through all both and ok now after removing the material we'll right click on this plan 1 and we'll make it here visible now here we have to create a second plan that is a distance of 5 mm from this plan 1 and for that we'll go for the reference geometry and we'll select here plan now we'll select here the plan 1 as a reference plan and the distance between the plane is of 5 mm and ok now after creating this plane we have to create a sketch on this plane too and for that we'll go for the sketch then we'll select here this plane too and we'll go for the normal view now here we have to create one circle with a diameter of 23 mm and for that we'll select here circle and we'll create one circle like this now for the dimensions we'll go for the smart dimension and the diameter is of 23 mm so we'll enter here 23 now you can see that the sketch is fully defined so we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll exit the sketch after creating this sketch we'll go for the features and we'll select here extrude boss now we have to reverse the direction and for that we'll select on this button reverse direction and from this drop down we'll select here up to the next so the material will be added up to this surface and then we'll click on ok after creating this feature we have to apply the fillet over this edge and this edge and for that we'll select here fillet the fillet radius is 1.9 mm so we'll enter here 1.9 then we'll select here this edge and this edge and then click on ok now we have to create third plane at a distance of 15 mm from this plane too and for that we'll go for the reference geometry select here plane as a reference we'll select here this plane too and the distance is of 15 mm so we'll enter here 15 and click on ok after creating this plane 3 we have to create one sketch on that plane and for that we'll go for the sketch and we'll select here this plan 3 and normal view now here we have to create one circle with a diameter of 19 mm so we'll go for the circle and we'll create one circle like this we'll go for the smart dimension and the diameter of circle is of 19 mm enter here 19 now you can see that the sketch is fully defined so we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll exit the sketch now after that we'll go for the features and we'll select here accurate boss feature now here first we'll reverse the direction by clicking on this button and from this drop down we'll select here up to the next and ok now you can observe that up to now we have created a solid model but the container should be hollow to create a hollow feature we'll go for the shell so we'll select here shell after that we'll select here this face because it will be hollow from this face so we select here this face before that we have to specify the thickness for this shell and in our case it is 1.2 mm so we'll enter here 1.2 mm as a thickness of this material then we'll select here this face because we want to hollow from this face and click on ok now after creating this hollow feature we have to create threads on this face and before that we'll make all this plane side so right click on the plane 
and select your head. Now after making all the planes hide, we have to create one plane at a distance of 0.6 mm from this upper face and for that we will go for the reference geometry, select here plane. As a reference we will select here this top face of this shell feature. Now the distance is of 0.6 mm, enter here 0.6 and we need to create plane on this side. So we will select here flip offset. Okay. After creating this plane, we have to create one sketch for the helix and that will be used to create the threads. So select here this plane, we will go for the sketch and we will go for the normal view. Now we will select here this outer edge of the shell feature, right click and we will select here convert entities. Now you can see that we have created one sketch that is fully defined. So we will exit the sketch. Now after creating this circle, that is the main diameter of the helix. Now we have to select here this sketch, we will go for the features and in features we will go for the curves and we will select here helix and spiral. Now here first we have to reverse the direction, so we will select here reverse the direction. Now from here we have to select the pitch and the revolution. Now in our case the pitch is of 5mm. So we will enter here 5 mm as a pitch. In our case the revolution is 1.5, enter here 1.5 and for the start angle we will select here 0 degree as a start angle. Now we will click on OK. Now you can see that a helical curve is created. Now we have to create the cross section view for the threads. Once the cross section is created we can use the sweep boss feature to create the threads. Now to create the cross section, we need to create the cross section at this point and we have to create sketch on the plane that coincides with this point. And for that we will use the right plane for the sketching plane. So we will go for the sketch. Then from here we will select the right plane as a sketching plane because it coincides with the end of the helical curve. Then we will go for the normal. Now here to get accurate view, we will go for the section view, then we will select here this plane as a cross section plane, ok. Now here we have to create the cross section for the threads and for that we will select here the polygons. Now here number of sides will enter here 3. After specifying number of sides, we can create a polygon like this. Now after creating this, we will select here this edge and we will make it here vertical. After that we will select here the circle or the center of the circle. Then press control and select here the helix and for both we will select here make pairs and ok. Now we will go for the normal view. Now we will specify the dimensions for this triangle and for that we will go for the smart dimension. Now we will select here this apex of the triangle and we will select here this side. Now this distance is of 1 mm so we will enter here 1. After specifying the distance we will exit the smart dimension. Then we will go for the fillet or the sketch fillet. Now here the radius of the sketch fillet is of 0.2 mm so we will enter here 0.2. Then we will select here this apex of the triangle and click on OK. Now you can see that our cross section is completed and the sketch is fully defined. So we will exit the sketch. Now here we have created the cross section for the threads as well as the guiding curve for the threads that is the helix. Now from here we will off the section view. Now after creating both the sketches we will go for the features and we will select here the swept boss feature. For the swept boss feature we will select here for the cross section we will select here this sketch and for the guiding curve we will select here this helix. After selecting both these sketches we can see the preview of the threads that is going to create and we will click on ok. Now you can see that the threads are created on this face. After creating this thread right click on this plane 
and we'll make it here hide. Now we'll create one chamfer on this edge, and for that we'll select here chamfer from this drop down. The chamfer distance is of 0.1 mm, so we'll enter here 0.1 mm as chamfer distance. Then we'll select here this edge for the chamfer and click on OK. Now you can see that our first part that is container is completed and we'll go for the appearance. For that we'll select here entire part. We'll go for the appearance. In the appearance we'll select here the plastic. In the plastic we'll select here medium gloss and we'll select here this white medium. Now we'll save it and for that we'll go for save as. Now on the desktop we'll create one dedicated folder for this assembly. So we'll go for the new folder. Now we'll enter here name as hand wash dispenser. And for the name of the part we'll enter here as a container. And we'll click on the save button. Now we'll create the second component of this assembly and for that let us first close it. We'll go for file, create a new part and ok. Now first we'll make background plain white. Now to create the washer we'll go for the sketch and we'll select here top plane as a sketching plane. Now here we have to create two circles, concentric circles and for that we'll select a circle. Now we'll draw two concentric circles like this. After creating the circles, we'll go for the smart dimension. Now the bigger circle is of 21 mm. Enter here 21. And for the smaller circle, the diameter is of 12 mm. So we'll enter here 12. Now after creating these two circles, you can see that the circles are fully defined. So we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll exit the sketch. After creating these two concentric circles, we'll go for the features and we'll select here extrude boss feature. Now here the depth of extrusion is of 1 mm, so we'll enter here 1 mm and click on OK. Now the washer is complete, so we'll select here entire part. We'll go for the appearance. In the appearance, we'll select here this dark gray color. Now we'll save it. So we'll go for the save as and we'll name it as a washer and click on save. 